Now to new concerns surrounding the Delta variant surging across the U.S. Federal health officials say it appears to cause more serious illness than previously thought and spreads as easily as the chicken pox. Our Taisha Walker is live in Galveston with a closer look at what medical experts have found. Taisha, good afternoon. Andy, good afternoon to you. We know that UTMB had three coronavirus specialists working inside of their biosafety level four labs well before any of us even knew what COVID-19 was. I spoke with one of their infectious disease specialists who tells me that the Delta variant is something to take seriously. He says it's on the same level as say the measles were and the chicken pox in their prime. For any of the high containment labs. Dr. Uh, Scott Weaver works inside of the Galveston National Lab on UTMB Health's campus. He's helped research a number of infectious diseases and says he's never seen anything quite like COVID 19's Delta variant. What we learned recently is that even when we're infected after vaccination and we don't feel sick at all or very mild illness, there's a lot of virus being produced in our upper respiratory tract. Dr. Weaver says unlike the alpha variant, which was produced in the lungs, the Delta variant focuses on the upper respiratory area, making it easy to spread among the unvaccinated and vaccinated. An internal CDC document compares the Delta variant's rapid spread to that of chickenpox. They would take their infected children to visit uninfected children to expose them, get them infected when the, inf the infection was not very dangerous to their health when they were very young. And so we had uh, almost complete herd immunity very, at very early age groups. Chickenpox, often recognized by rashes with large pustules all over the body, is less prevalent now in the U.S. because of vaccines. But Dr. Weaver says both chickenpox and the Delta variant are more severe in adults than younger people. He also says an infected person can spread the Delta variant to five people. Dr. Weaver says that's the same for the chickenpox in parts of the world where it's still prevalent. Dr. Weaver says he suggests if you are not vaccinated to consider getting the shot. And he says if you are vaccinated to go back to those behaviors and practices that you did when the alpha variant was more prevalent, such as continuing to wear your mask, socially distancing and washing your hands properly. Reporting live in Galveston, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. Taisha, thank you. Walmart.